Let's go to the fourth word of our Lord Jesus Christ when He was already at the cross. The fourth word. Eli, Eli, Lama Sabaktani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It's indeed a crucial situation like this. Anyone may ask a question, why? It's because that in spite of the fact that he is able to spare himself to the situation because he is the son of God, still the father have forsaken him. If we see the relationship, we can tell that they were so intimate. How? In the book of John 1.1, it says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was it God, the Word was God. The Father loves him so much, as we can read in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 5. This is my son, whom I am pleased, listen to him. I'm on this intimate relationship as if he was being abandoned, left alone, and most of all felt pain. He was in an explainable pain. In one, in our part as an individual with a very close relationship, suddenly tells you that today you depart from me and do not associate with me no more. How painful it is to be felt. So, as with our Lord Jesus Christ, he experienced this pain. Another reason, maybe he was forsaken, was in the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 24. As he read, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. And by his wounds we are healed. He bore our sins thus made him human to associate to God because God is holy and no sin can be compromised to him. And because of our unworthiness, he took upon him, he felt forsaken. Praise God for the life of Brother Amante. Sobrang nakakabless ang buhay ng kapatid natin ito kasi kahit ano yung ipagawa natin sa kanya, talagang gagawin niya basta para sa Panginoon. So maraming salamat Brother Amante for the good explanation 
about the word of God. And right now, gusto ko lang magbigay ng konting karagdagan about the fourth word of Jesus Christ on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yung suffering ni Jesus Christ sa oras na yan mga kapatid ay nasa stage 9. Yan yung part na na-experience niya yung completely separation from the Father as a substitute for the sinners. Bakit niya sinabi, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Kasi yun na yung isang part na pinakamahirap. He died forsaken so that we might not be forsaken. He experienced everything. Inexperience niya ang lahat ng hirap upang sa ganon ay hindi na tayo mapapahirapan pa. So ito yung katibayan na we were redeemed by the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. So, ano pa yung hahanapin ng bawat isa sa atin? Wala tayong rason upang manghina tayo sa paglilingkod sa Kanya. Wala tayong rason upang tumigil tayo sa paglilingkod sa Kanya. Wala tayong rason upang mawalan tayo ng gana, tatama rin tayo, mawalan tayo ng panahon sa Kanya. Itong salita ng Panginoon na ito, maging inspirasyon sana ng bawat isa sa atin na kahit pagod na pagod na tayo sa trabaho, kahit ang dami na nating mga pagsubok, kahit ang dami nating mga sufferings, still we will keep on serving Him kasi ganyan din yung ginawa niya para sa ating lahat. He never mind about himself. He never mind about his status. He never mind everything. His focus was to save us. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. I hope na tayong lahat na inspire sa salita ng Panginoon. So, God bless each one of us. My heart.